Hello everyone, Helen here and welcome. Today I will be creating 10 cards using this month's Paper Pad Club of the Month from the Not Too Shabby Shop. I will be incorporating both paper pads, the stamp of the month, as well as the matching ephemera. I did color in one of the stamp sets and those are the Copic markers I chose to color it with. And I also brought in my love from Lizzie Peeloffs and a Stampin' Up Tip Top Tope cardstock. I chose 10 sketches for Mojo Monday and here are the two ink pads I used to stamp my sentiments with. Now, I did not show the part where I decorate my cards with enamel dots and the enamel dots I used are from Jamie's shop. Um, they are just assorted enamel dots that I felt would uh, match the color palette of the paper pads. I did use one of each of the sentiments in my cards. I matted everything and popped up uh, at least one thing in my um, in my clusters. When I choose clusters to decorate my cards, I usually choose three because I feel like it just looks better that way. And so you'll see a pattern here it, it's either going to have at least three or five pieces of ephemera. I did try to incorporate every single item that was included in the paper pad club of the month, such uh, as the cut aparts. Um, I do have the stamp set, and unfortunately, I believe the uh, die the die for the stamp set is sold out, but the stamp set itself is available. And I just really love that cute little bunny because um, the bunny reminds me of Peter Rabbit or kind of like a, what are those little golden book story books that you'd read? And um, so I really fell in love with that little bunny and I wanted to incorporate him into my cards. And I just colored him warm grays to kind of have that brownish tone um, that matches some of the brownish tones in the paper pads itself. Um, both paper pads actually complement each other very well. Um, just because there's uh, shamrocks in it, it I, I don't feel like it's St. Patrick's Day. It can actually really just be a spring-themed card. And um, I think Jamie did a great job incorporating tons of sentiments in the stamp of the month and what I like about uh, the stamp of the month and the paper pad club they always seem to match at least that's the pattern I see in um, the uh, subscriptions as far as stamp of the month and paper pad club and I also love the fact that you have the option to choose if you want the coordinating ephemera so I will make sure to link to the items that I used below. I will also have a blog post, a coordinating one, which I will link down below as well. If you'd like to see a closer look of the cards that I made today. And I will also uh, put the sketches that I used up on my blog if you'd like to see that. Um, I've had many questions about how I was able to print the uh, sketches in work in sheets and I think that was an option that was offered back then I printed these sheets about two to three years ago and when I look back because I've been getting a lot of questions about it to see if you can mass print those sketches I don't see that option anymore I don't know if that's something that was taken down or if that was um I'm really not sure um, I would contact the person who actually does the blog for these Mojo Monday sketches but I can say that I really do love Mojo Monday sketches because of all the layering and if you've been following me for a while I love uh, lots and lots of layering especially if I have to do a lot of matting I don't know it's just so satisfying to me um, but yeah 
I hope you guys enjoy this uh, process video. This one's kind of like a longer uh, video for me today. Um, I've just been enjoying playing with the Paper Pad Club of the month this month because it's St. Patrick's Day and I don't have a lot of uh, St. Patrick's Day themed cards. So that's why I was really drawn to this uh, particular collection. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and play music for the duration of this video and I'll catch you guys in the end and enjoy the process. <music>
I hope that you enjoyed the process of how I put these cards together. I really had so much fun creating these cards because again, of all the layering and in all the matting I had to do, it's just um, very satisfying. And of course, not to mention the super cute ephemeras and the cute bunny rabbits. Um, it was really easy to color. Um, so thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me. Make sure to tell me in the comment section down below what you guys think or if you have a favorite card. I love reading all of your comments and I'll see you on my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye!